Hey guys, this is Tino C, and today we're gonna discuss counterbalance mods. I was doing this video on the Cold Heart, and I was commenting how it was hard to control. Like the recoil kept, you know, just pushing my gun up. And one of my subs said, "Hey, why don't you use some counterbalance mods?" You know, um, and he also gave me this chart that shows me what mods are available for what armor piece. Shoutouts to Brett Sorby. A link to his channel will be in the description below. He sent me that picture, which I turned into this, which later on I shared on this. And here is a diagram of how all of this went down. But more importantly, if you guys are hunting for a specific mod, this spreadsheet will be available to you on this video at one minute. So, you can come back if you want, but let's get back to the meat and potatoes of this video. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of a bunch of guns. The one with two counterbalance is going to be on the far right, the one with one counterbalance is going to be in the middle, and the gun with no counterbalance is going to be on the left. That was a mouthful. So first up we have the Hero's Burden. You can get this SMG at Iron Banner. It doesn't look like the horizontal recoil is actually really affected by this. Um, it was very random, but the vertical recoil actually looks like it's slightly affected, but not by much. I mean... Up next we have the add of options. You can get this from the gunsmith, and it's the same with SMGs. It doesn't look like the, the horizontal recoil is affected, but the vertical recoil is slightly reduced. Not so much for SMGs, unfortunately, which is a bummer. Up next we have the Cadenza. The Cadenza is a slow rate of fire pulse rifle, which is really affected by this. On the far left, the one with no counterbalance, you can see that it kicks to the left like a horse, but on the far right, it just becomes a laser. I, I think, in my opinion, I think you can get away with just having one counterbalance mod. I mean, that's uh, the one in the middle with one counterbalance is very controllable, in, in my opinion. But yeah, uh, greatly affects pulse rifles. Interesting. Up next, we have the Nurgle. The Nurgle has a really, really hard right kick to it. You can see the one with no counterbalance kicks to the right. The one with one counterbalance is slightly to the right and with no counterbalance or two counterbalances it just becomes a laser and just one of those personal preferences i i really like the nurgle it's a fantastic pulse rifle up next we have the valakdin um this is an auto rifle a fast rate of fire auto rifle um 720 R, uh, rounds per minute this guy doesn't even seem like he's affected by <laughs> counterbalance. I mean, uh, I mean, let I'll, I'll let the actual video speak for itself. A at some points, it does look like the gun with no counterbalance just has the same recoil pattern. It's just very random. Up next, we have Uriel's GIF. Unfortunately, guys, I, this this gun is already broken. Man, it doesn't need counterbalance. I mean, it. It's very negligible. I, I don't even see a difference, to be to be quite frank. <laughs> the, the one with uh, with no counterbalance actually looks on on some of the takes actually looks better than the one with two counterbalance mods equipped. Doesn't make any sense. Um, up next, we have the Intragram, uh, the full auto sidearm that you can get from New Monarchy, kind of similar to the Dead Man's Walking. This is greatly affected. And the Minuet, counterbalance greatly affects this gun as well. You can see the far right, the recoil pattern just goes straight up. And um, yeah, I, I would say you can get away with just one counterbalance mod. Up next we have the Black Scorpion, which is a full auto scout rifle. Um, yeah, you can absolutely tell the difference. This guy kicks to the right. But with one counterbalance mod, it becomes uh, like a diagonal right kick. And with two counterbalance mod, it just becomes a, a vertical kick. I mean, it's straight up, right? 
so it greatly affects um, full auto scouts as well. Pretty interesting. Now the cold heart. Um, yeah, I, I think you can get away with just one counterbalance mod with this. Uh, without the counterbalance mod, it just kicks up and to the left, but with one counterbalance mod, it goes straight up, and with two, it's kind of just kind of the same, you know? So, in conclusion, the counterbalance perk affects certain guns. Um, I haven't tested it on PvP, unfortunately, there's no private matches, and I don't know if this actually helps with your, your aim assist, and uh, who knows, right? But what I can tell is it really affects pulse rifles, full auto uh, scouts, full auto sidearms, and hand cannons. Those weapons are your best bet when equipping this mod. And that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed yourself and you found this information interesting, please subscribe to this channel, share, and like this video. Let me know about it in the comment section below. As always, stay positive. Dino C out!